Today, many Nigerians are paying tribute as the country marks the Armed Forces Remembrance Day, which is an annual event to commemorate the nation's servicemen and fallen heroes. The event is celebrated on January 15th every year. This day is set aside to honor the Nigerian Armed Forces and veterans of the World War I and II, as well as the Nigerian Civil War. It is also a day set aside for sober reflections of our fallen heroes who laid down their lives during the various peacekeeping operations around the world, the various internal security operations, and also the ongoing fight against insurgency, terrorism, banditry, amongst other threats to national security. This occasion is also used to draw attention to the welfare of veterans, surviving but retired members of the armed forces, especially the disabled, the sick, and the aged. President Muhammadu Buhari on Saturday presided over the 2022 Armed Forces Remembrance Day in Abuja. The ceremony took place at the National Arcade opposite Eagle Square in the Three Armed Zone. The president inspected a guard of honor mounted by detachments of the Nigerian Army, the Navy, the Air Force, and the Nigerian Legion. Prayers were said by Christian and Muslim clerics for the peaceful repose of souls of the dead and the health of the nation. The peak of the event was a wreath laying ceremony done by President Buhari and other lawmakers as a mark of last respect to the fallen heroes who paid the supreme price to preserve the nation's territorial integrity and peace. During the signing of the Remembrance Day Anniversary Register by the President, accompanied by heads of other branches of government, military chiefs and other top officials of government, three volleys of 21-gun salutes were fired at the event. President Buhari thereafter released white pigeons to indicate the harmony of the nation. Speaking at the event, the Chief of Defense Staff, Lucky Irabo, said the military would not relent in discharging its constitutional duties towards safeguarding national security and democracy. He said, Today, I believe that Nigerians are no longer in doubt as to the subordination of the military to civil rule. I believe that no one is in doubt that democracy has come to stay.